Please welcome WBO middleweight world champion Demetrius Bubu Andrade, one of the best pound for pound boxers on the planet, and he's Cape Verdean. It is a pleasure having you with us. First of all, tell me, in your opinion, what was and talk about your childhood. Tell me about your childhood. Uh, my childhood, you know, was, um, it was pretty much sports. It was pretty much the boxing ring. You know, my dad, um, who was my trainer, he uh, is a, you know, a carpenter. He um, fixed houses, and that's pretty much how, you know, um, our upbringing was. As far as his work, it was boxing gym. I played football. I played a little basketball, and then, you know, outside of that, you know, my dad would take us to his 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 jobs, and that consists of construction, building houses, and um, yeah, anything that has to do with, you know, construction. And so, as I was as I was um you know young, I would go to the boxing gym. It was a fun place to be. I, I always like went there and thought I was a wrestler at first, and as time went on. You know, I just started developing uh, the skill of boxing through my dad teaching me because that's what my dad loved to do. He was a trainer, and so he just kept his kids, my other brothers, around, you know, all, all types of sports, you know, and he always was there for us. And um, being a kid, it was fun, you know. We had a – we had a uh, it was a strict but tough, responsible childhood I had through my parents, so – that's good. Very good. What was the most remarkable aspect in your life and why during your life the most? Um, you know, um, my kids, my family, um, you know, that's, that's, that's one thing that I'm grateful for that will always represent me more than anything else that I do. And that will, and that will be towards my legacy is just my family and my kids. And outside of that is, um, you know, Sticking to what I've been doing, being disciplined, um, commit, committing to something I believe in, and moving forward and doing the and doing the very best I can every single day, no matter what conditions. And uh, you know, I'm here now, and so those all, all that is a remarkable moment for me. And I can, you know, the list goes on because you know, at the end of the day, everybody has to realize, you know, you you just can't put your hand out and you just can't think things happen overnight yeah, some things some things some things are you know a marathon and i don't run a marathon <laughs> but you know some things you know some things yes. how it goes how many children do you have i have four Talk about your family yes i have four? i have yeah four i have four i got Please i got to busy. follow you i got busy young you know <laughs> You know, being in this our day, you know, and dealing with the poor children, what you you consider your 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 role as a father? Are you an open mind father? How do you relate with your children? Do you talk about everything? Do you advise them? Do you support them? Or do you have taboo, some taboos that you don't talk with them? You know, you have. You know, I I I think. Um... You talk about certain things when they are uh, like a coming of age, you know, like when they're, if they're, if they're a teenager, it's not, you got to start talking about, you know, teenage shit, stuff and um, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm open minded because, like, you know, I've been like my dad was, you know, um, raised by true Cape Verdean parents. My grandpa from Brava, my grandma from Sunny Cloud. They move over, they have them. Wow. So, you know, Brava they, Sunny Cloud. Uh, huh? Yeah. My grandma. Wow. Um, mm. Yeah. So, they, you know, you know how it is. They're, you know, Cape Verdean um, culture and their traditions are a little strict in certain areas. And so that's how my dad was. He also was, uh, he's, a, he's a veteran as, as well. Um, so, me growing up in that and then me growing as myself as a young boy becoming a man and having my own kids and seeing how the generation like how to how, how sort of develop i realized you know you have to talk to your kids you have to be open-minded because they're going to do whatever they want to do anyway so the best thing to do is just give them make sure you you know give them the morals and have them think twice 
with when it comes to things and letting them know, like, whatever you decide to do in life, you know, I'm always going to be there. So it's best you tell me the truth because I want to prepare you for the truth and what's going to happen. And no matter which way you go, you know, all I can say is, you know, let's, let's try it the other way. But I know when I was young, growing up, you know, if, if your parents said no on something you wanted to do, you was going to do it anyway. So yeah, it's, all about, it, it's, it's all about, yeah, it's all about, you know, like a structure, understanding and knowing when and how to handle things. And so I just, um, you know, let them know, like, I'm here when you need me, when you want advice, but I'm also going to give you advice every day about what really matters the most. You can go, have a good time, you can do whatever you need to do, but you got to understand the difference between knowing when not to have a good time because you want to be a student athlete or you want to have a goal and these things matter because, you know, you're going to, you're, you're going to be able to do like if it's party and hanging out with your friends, you know, mm. doing something. You're going to be able to do that when you get older at another level if you're accomplished and you're successful with the goals that you want to get, you, that you want to accomplish financially. So now you can even have more fun when you're, when it's, when, when, when you're at that you're point. Right. You know, yeah. um, that's, yeah. that's what I try to, that's, yeah, that's what I, how I, I feel. That's how I look at things. And that's what I'm trying to like slowly let them see it, you know, and expand their minds to, you know, travel experience and being exposed to things that, you know, they're going to have to deal with in life. So it's, uh, it's not easy, but I know that, you know, you not have to easy. be flexible. You got to be flexible to be able to like grow with people. Yeah. It's not easy, you know, because in our day they have access with the internet. It's just a question of press the button. They have access to everything, you know, and sometimes they don't have the parents, you know, close to them. You are very busy, you know, uh, maybe their mom also are a bit very busy, you know, and nowadays is very complicated. So how we can, you know, help them support and give them the value and principles is so important. This is linked with the, the next question that he, what does this word family mean to you? What does, what the word family means to me? Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, unconditional, <laughs> you know, it's just unconditional, like family yeah. is unconditional, you know, I mean, you, you gonna have to deal with them and, and deal with them for the rest of your life. You know, I, you know, I don't know what type of family, um, you know, let me get into it like this, like just family can mean like blood family or family outside the blood, you know? It depends what is your con concept of family. You know, family can be, you know, it depends. I want, you know, to hear from you your opinion. Yeah, for sure. So I think family is just unconditional, even if it's um, somebody that's in your family or somebody outside your family that you guys have an unconditional bond um, through whatever and handle and you got, you know, a long relationship. And so that's a family mm. member to me. So, yeah, so it don't necessarily have to be your blood. But yeah, family is unconditional. That's how I look at it. Like, if my family, no matter what, we're we're gonna have unconditional love, and we're gonna stick it through because that's what that's how it all unfolds. So yeah. You took, you know, you know, you pick right up the uh, the the point. Love, I think, is what is missing in unfortunately in a lot of you know levels in this society, community, and world. I think I think we our family is our base, is our structure. But the love, you know, this word you cannot explain what this means, uh, and it's our heart, is what we we have inside, and we give, uh, and we should give unconditionally always this love, this love. I think it's this that we we should give to our children and also to our love community and friends. This is so important. This link to another question that uh, talking about the world. What kind of world do you want to leave to your children? The, the police brutality, you know, that, that type of stuff needs to be changed. Um, you know, I can't, you know, just because we're talking about it and it's the subject, you know, I'm not really like whatever. But, um, like, us as people, we can deal with, like, just like, you know, somebody that is racist, maybe. Somebody is biased to their culture or whatever. You're like, you can deal with that on, like, a one-on-one -on -one thing. And you can like stop it and nip, nip it in the bud and stop it. But the whole thing about like the police harming and, 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 and like I said, brutality to, to us 
like you know black people at this point like that thing that stuff really needs to stop you know you know i could get into like you know the whole you know politics and like you know everything about you know giving black life matters like the the opportunity to be able to finance a house open up businesses you know and not have to go through you know loops and loops and loops and loops and loops and loops and they still want to deny you like that is just you know unfair so those are the type of things that i would change and i think as you know people we're actually starting to like unite and realize like, yo, we have to do this on our own. And we, the way how we're going to have to do it is the way how, how I see them doing it already. The protesting, starting to, you know, support, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, don't support white folks, don't support yellow folks, don't support brown folks. Like, you know, support your community, support who you are first, support like, yeah, yeah. What you see yourself as, like you look at me, I look yeah. at you. We're the same. We should support each other. And then you know, there's other people that don't, might not have it. You go support them too, and you try to recycle the the dollar amount. But definitely, you know, we gotta, you know, yeah. join hands, join hands more, and like realize like we need to be for each other, not against each other. Mm. It's not a question of you know. Yeah, yeah, right. It's not it's not a question of color. It's a question of a human being. That's that's the point. Talking about your career and uh, that is so, so you have a lot to give your experience, what you have lived during your career. When and where did you start? Your wins. Talking, talk us uh, and tell us about your wins. You have won several titles. What does this mean to you? I've been winning titles since I was young, you know, and... You know, it, it, it was it's always definitely like a, a good feeling. It's a stepping stone to like accomplishing to where I want to get to. Like, okay, I got this title. Now let's get the next one. Now, like, it has never been enough for me. Like, oh, I got this title. Woo! I did it all. Like, I'm, I'm done. Like, no. Like, I know that I'm not a content person. I'm not satisfied until I like build my legacy the way I want to build it. And I push myself to the limit to you know as far as i can you know and then i can sit here and be like you know give the full story when it's all said and done but um you know it just shows and i also like to show people like no matter what situation you're in <laughs> continue to commit have you have you know discipline to what you're doing and understand what you're going to get out of it at the end of the day like don't look at oh oh man i can't do this today i can't you can't do that today because you got something big and better and that's going to be more enjoyable later on in life and some people get caught up on the want to move, like move too fast fast life fast life i gotta have it now i gotta have it now i gotta have it now you don't need to have it now because I advise people don't try to go get something that you can't afford two times, three times. Like don't just wait until you're able to do what you need to do. Wait until you're able to, you know, do it the way you want. You want to go out and party? Well, hold on. Invite the people that you want to invite to your house and have a house party, like a real, like, you know, do things in a different light. But in order to get there, you have to sacrifice, you know, the, you know, little things to little things is what makes the difference. So, um and me getting them titles it, it means it means it means to me as far as my kids and my family as far as the world to me when i say that is about them when they look at me and they see what i accomplished that means the world to me when people acknowledge me and see my hard work that means the world to me not really so much like a title but it's nice to have title is my worth ethic who i am and how i stay humble and I, I, I and I show love and I'm the people's champ and I go on like that with or without a title that's why that's good that's very interesting you know what you feel the way you see this is why we see life you know uh, being a, a champion is not easy <laughs> it is a lot of sacrifice is easy good very very, very good. good good answer what is the, the highest, highest vision, vision you hold for yourself, for yourself, both, both professionally, professionally and, personally. and personally. Wait, say that one more time, please. The highest vision. What is the highest vision you hold for yourself, both professionally and personally? Um, you know, professionally, <laughs> pro pro professionally, 
you know, it's, you know, this, like, I can only stay because I'm just, you know, there's a lot going on in this world, you know, there's a lot going on in this world. Not every single person watch boxing, loves boxing and all this other stuff. But outside of boxing, you know, I've been having um, a, a crew follow me for about 17 years now and yeah. like to do a documentary eventually and then to just show people like, you only see the end result every time you see me. Only the end result. You never see what really happens, you know, during the time and all this other stuff and being frustrated and all, all the dramas that come with it. And I just, um, I can't wait for that to be out to show how professional I am. You know, it's like you have to understand that things are going to happen in life and are you going to let them things distract you take you off course um, mm -hmm. have you not focus professionally and that's when that it, when that time comes to show you how I'm a professional I am. now personally you know I mean like I said my goal is to like take care of, like the people around me my family and when it comes to my children to let them know like I got their their support no matter what and um, I, I have the community support and you know I I will always do my best to you know if it makes sense, of course, you know, and if it's, it's the right thing to do, well, you know, give my, give my hand out to people. Your hobbies, your free time, what do you spend Um, You know, my free time mm -hmm. is my kids. You know, like, <laughs> like, you know like hanging with them, doing things with them. Um, you know, whenever I travel a lot, I do travel a lot. I have my own, like, thing traveling. When I have free time, I like to travel the world. You know, I, I'm, I I can't wait to get to Cape Verde. That's a place I haven't actually we been. We are waiting for you. I can't, I can't <laughs> wait to get out there and actually stay out there for a while. But the one thing I love to do is when I have, like, my own free time, like, like I'm going to give free time myself. I like to travel. I like to see views. I like to try food. I like to try new things. I like to, you know, just I'm somebody that wants to see what this world looks like before it's all said. Good. No. Very, very important also and good. So what are your plans for your future? future? Share, share with us. If you have something, something that's confidential, confidential just, just share, share with us. us your plans for your future. Um, you know, I could just say this, right? I give everybody a, like advice to do this. Like, you know, invest, in, invest into yourself, invest into other things. Um, you know, be a good citizen. Um, and yeah, like don't waste, be careful on wasting time and money on the wrong things. Like be really cautious with, you know, your time and, and where you put your money. And especially with this whole Corona stuff that's going on for me, it, it, it's like, you know, I, I, you always have to be cautious of where you're going, you know? So people need to understand like that aspect of like, knowing where to spend time at, knowing where not to go, because, you know, it could be trouble, it could be this, it could be that. And so, like, really understand and calculate your moves the, the correct way and invest young, you know, don't look into investing into a diamond ring or, or, or some nice looking cars yeah. because they, they don't, they, all they do is depreciate and it doesn't, you can't sleep in it for too long. Yeah, sure. So yeah. invest in for yourself. Yeah. Invest into some, you know, in, in uh, property yourself and other things that's going on in life that's surrounding you that makes sense. And um, yeah, just be a good citizen. Get it how you get it. So I'm with you. You know, you should invest not in the materials, but uh, in yourself. You know, I think is what we take with us. You know, <laughs> is what we have. The knowledge, the education, the things. You know, is not the material. You are right. You are right. <laughs> How do you define success? Um, success, my dear. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I, 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 call it, I call it being rich. I call it being rich because um, I want people to understand the difference between, like, you know, success being financially rich and then success being rich in the mind, body, and the soul. You know, being rich and successful to me is being able to get up I get to see my family, spend time with them, my dogs. I get to relax. 
I get to like, you know, do what I love to do, boxing and, and, and that's rich. That's being successful. You know, that right there alone is really what success is to me is being able to do them things and really enjoy it and um, you know, just see the process of the growth with everybody. So that's how, that's how I see it. And talking about do the hard work, do you, do you think it's important what you do to have impact in the people's life? Yeah, for Is sure. This... Okay, okay. <laughs> Because your success, when it, it comes to the people's life, you know, it has impact on their life. Uh, this is this is huge it, it means it will give you more and more you know <laughs> I, i i'm i'm just asking you uh. no it does like you know um you know knowing that you know as long as i keep pushing they can look at me and be like if he's keep pushing i'm gonna keep pushing you know so you got to have a, you have to you know be careful of, you know, what you do and how you do things. But yeah, you know, it drives me to keep going, knowing like I got my little ones or my family, or I got my own responsibilities and my own goals and all that stuff mm -hmm. that I want to get to. So it drives me to get to that because now the people I'm around, like, you know, I, I can say like Lewis, you know, for example, like in some way in his mind, body and soul, he has that driven mentality to go and make something happen on his own. And then yeah. from that being said, you know, other people are going to gravitate to him and he's going to gravitate to other people like myself. And it becomes a, a you know, kind of like a work workforce and to see how everything is being dealt with and, you know, being open-minded and doing the things that each other is asking for. And so that right there is a drive alone. So if you think it's a good idea to do something, then let's do it. And then I think it's a good idea, let's do it. And that's the only way, you know, you can, you know, figure out through trial and error and keep pushing yeah. and give each other the drive and other people around you that want to mm. um, be a part of like that momentum and that movement. Yeah, right. so. Let us talk about this lovely and fascinating country, which is Cabo Verde, the country of Morabeza and opportunities. And of course, open to the world. We want to see you. Our invitation is on table. We, we want to see you soon here in Cabo Verde. This country strategically well located with a lot of access to different markets, you know, politically and socially stable, uh, with a lot of opportunities to invest with the fiscal incentive. Let us talk about what this country and its culture uh, and, its, and its heritage mean to you with this lovely opportunity, everything. What does mean to you? Yeah, I, I think I heard. I think I heard a lot of what you said, but um, you know, mm -hmm. I'm 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 not gonna know until I actually get out there to see, like, you know, and put my own ideas to things or mm -hmm. see how the the Cape Verde Island islands are. I don't really know until I get out there. Um, and you know, heritage you said and culture I heard you and heritage, yes. Oh, okay, me, you know, I mean. Like, so my, 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 my mom is American. My dad is Cape Verdean full. He speaks Creole. My grandpa, my grandpa, they speak it. So, but my dad, you know, ended up being with an American, you know, a black woman and um, spoke English. So I didn't really, I wasn't really, um, I didn't really know how to speak the language as, as often. Do you speak Creole? <laughs> no, I, I got a little, I got a little, como que busta, you know, that's good right I know, I, i know how to say a little bit i practice you know um i um i you know i practice a little bit but what like turned me on to like wanting people to know like really what cape verdeans are and like what we represent is like um everywhere i go they ask me what i am they like what's that Cambodian? I'm like, no, not Cambodian, Cape Verdean. <laughs> and, so, and so, you know, I was just trying to like figure out and get back to the roots and through my platform, it was like, you know what? Yes, I represented the United States Olympics, you know? Um, just just how it was. And people look at me as an American uh, person. 
but I'm like, yeah, yes, I am. A, I, I am like American in a sense, but my blood, my family, my culture is Cape Verdean, and I want the world to know. So what I'm going to do is put my foot down and let them know, like, I'm Cape Verdean. And that's what it is. That's, that's it. who we are, and like, and that's the culture that I'm around. You know, my kids are, my dad is. My kid, so that's what I'm standing by. And so, with that being said, you know, I start bringing out the flags more, the old flag, the new flag. Um, you know, we, we're trying to figure out how can we do things with Cape Verdean artists, like, you know, Georgie, Nelson, like, just trying to figure out a way wow. to, you know, just um, my, my and just trying to figure a way, wow, a way to, like, get, even out here, even, uh, um, you know, the Cape Verdeans that's in, out here in America, you know, I, I try to team up with them to, like, you know, let people know that like, you also have, if you don't know, you also have a Cape Verdean champion, the baddest <laughs> Cape Verdean champion on the planet. Like, how you, you guys, everybody must know this, you know? So just, of course. just working. It's so important to us. You know, you, yeah, know, old, sure. you know, old Cape Verdean who has Cape Verdean blood. You know, blood, I mean. It, he's so proud to be Cape Verdean, always. Even if you have American you know, nationality, yeah, you have your, you know, parents that are American Cape Verdean, having the blood, Cape Verdean blood, you feel proud to be Cape Verdean, you know. I think this is what, something is very special from us. From us, it's very special. As a successful uh, world-class athlete of Cape Verdean's descendant, what do you expect from your own country, Cabo Verde? What do you expect from Cabo Verde? What do I expect when I go to Cabo Verde? Yes. Um, just, just, I, just, I just expect to, like, just, I want to feel what, I want to feel the ground. I want to smell the air. I want to, you know, just, like, get my body in tune with the surroundings and then just love, <laughs> you know, just love. Like, I'm go, I want to go and give love and I want to receive love and um, just learn, you know, just learn. Learn and learn. That's very good. And you're going to feel special, very special. This is the land. When we come, we will say every, every single year, you want to come again. You know, you will feel special because they are giving a lot of, you know, love, you know, friendship. You know, this, they want to see you here. You what we own? can do more for our diaspora, you know, to bring them more here, to invest, to come to, you know, to, to come for tourism, to visit, to invest here, this is the relation. What do you think, uh, in your opinion and your advice? It's because your advice counts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I have to, I want to, I have to get there. And then when I come back, you know, I could be like, hey, we everybody needs to be in Cape Verde because it's a beautiful already it's a beautiful place we all it's like it's a it's a beautiful place it's it's a it's you know some beautiful islands of course the people are beautiful and etc and what do we need for things to grow like I said I'm not gonna know until I'm actually get over there to give like a, a solid opinion but marketing is always the key thing and whatever I can do to like help represent something that is good for the people, I'm gonna, you know, put my, put my, my you know, I give them that fist. It will, of course, uh, help us also to do the promotion of the country. It, the opportunities that Cap Verde has. There are 10 islands, 10 lovely islands, as I used to say, 10 islands in an in a ocean of opportunity. There are a lot of sectors of opportunity, ICTs, you know, human capital, industries, you know, renewable energy, wow, transshipment, blue economy. So we have a lot of sports, you know, we have a lot. So let us organize this program. Uh, as soon as you come, we will, you know, visit Ireland and, you know, looking, you know, see things, smell things, you know, this is different. You know, we are here, the sense of being here is is really really unbelievable you know I, i'm i'm confident that you love it <laughs> you love you love cabo verde i you know, love cabo verde. I love cabo verde. <laughs> to, to give us the closing message if you could give us the closing message for people of cabo verde what would you say we want you know to meet you soon all of us but for you what did you say yeah, yeah, be, yeah be a good citizen you know do the right things, do what you need to survive and 
always help, always give out our helping hand, you know? Always give out our helping hand, be a good citizen. That's good. I just want, you know, to give you a small message for you, what we feel from you, that your life counts. Your story is also our story. They are all connected. Your voice and inspiration, your journey is our pride. It's so important for us. And you are the bridge for us as a nation to the world. Don't forget, this is the new way we want, you know, to connect for the new future. This is the new future we want. We want our diaspora. We want our sons to feel that their life counts. Your story is going to inspire a lot of youth and people in Cape Verdean to feel that, yes, it's possible. When you believe, work hard, you achieve your goals. And we are together. Your success is our success. Then ne never forget this. If you are going well, we are happy for you. So this is, this is the feeling we want you to, you know, feel this inside with heart. This is the way we think. And we want all of our diaspora, and, you know, to be successful step by step, to go farther. This is yes. the way yes. we have to be with your family, with all you are dreaming, you know, to become true. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. We'll see you soon. We we'll organize your, you know, visits here to Cabo Verde, and we are going to do our best to keep you very connected to Cabo Verde and always. This yes, is the I, new I, feature, I, new connection. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank you, and I appreciate the kind words and the and the love, and uh, I can't wait. Good, good. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.